All right, well, this is my daily vlog. So, I guess, what's going on? Um, I don't whole lot, I haven't been able to sleep. I've been reading this new book my friend Alex gave me. It's called Rotten Ruin. Um, it's a fairly good book so far. It's, it's about zombies, apparently. If you haven't seen from the wonderful cover. Um, I say um a lot, and I'm going to try to stop that. <coughs> um, I bought some new fedoras. All fancy-like. Um, there we go. Um, well, I haven't been to school in about two semesters. I've had four jobs in the last six months. My grandma passed away May 17th. Um, one of my good friends, Anna, moved to Arizona, so I haven't really been too happy about that. I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I guess it hit me harder than I thought it would. I don't know, just doing a lot of soul searching lately. I was going to take a walk today. I haven't gotten to it yet. It's like 5 a.m., though. Perfect time to get out my camera and go out and pretty much walk. I'm not taking a nature walk today before I have to go and hang out with Kristen Alex in Austin. I get to it. I'm not just feeling so distant lately, so I just thought I'd take some time to myself, do a little bit of a vlog. I don't know if I'm going to upload this or not, but if I do, Bear with me, I'm a little off. <laughs> um, I'm not all awesome like I was last summer. As you can tell, there's a difference between my demeanor now and who I was last year. I, I suppose it has to do with life and things that's happened. People that's come into my life and people that's changed it. And... Just people in general making me see things for how the world really is. <clears throat> sometimes it could be cruel and hateful. But um, sometimes it can be very wonderful and spectacular. The, the people I've met in the last six months have changed my life. Um, first of all, Anna. I met her in February, I believe. And I was working at Sonic, and she messaged me on my Facebook. We were talking on Sabrina Cheeks, a uh, post, I, I suppose. I don't even remember what it's about anymore, but uh, we were talking. And she's like, well, I'm totally going to stalk your page. And then, like, we add each other, and she's like, well, we're going to have to meet up sometime. So we ended up meeting up, and I got her a job at... Um, Burger King, where Travel Centers of America is, before I left, and we started to hang out, and she changed my views on things, and kind of got me out of my comfort zone a little bit, and it helped, so, and her creativity, and how she brought people together, but in a way, all the people she brought together were people I had already met or known of, but never really sought to seek them out as friends. Like, I don't know. It's just now it's all the people that I wasn't friends with, I'm friends with now, and I wish then, I would have been friends with them then, because... They probably would have helped me through a lot of the times I spent alone trying to figure out life and all that teenage crap I went through. <laughs> I never, I don't like being a teenager. I'm glad I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm glad I'm 22. I'm glad that I'm as mature, as mature as I am now and I'm not there anymore. I went through too much and... It made me who I am today, 
even if this particular day I'm not completely overjoyed. But I guess slowly I'm going to get there. It's been two months since my grandma Linda passed away, and I just, I don't know, being happy just seems hard. So, and the person I was leaning on there for a little while is kind of in Arizona, and I don't really want to say, hey, I really want to talk about this now, even though I don't want to know, I really, I mean, I don't want to talk about it, but I, I do. I guess if that makes sense. I don't know, it's just, it's easier to just discuss it with her and... Maybe it's because I have a trust, and it's hard for me to trust other people. So... But, I've been playing new games. Um, Minecraft. She introduced me to Minecraft. I love it. Um, we've been playing on this server for like maybe five months, and then the server's down right now, but we've been playing on a local host over at Alex's house, which is amazing, and let's see, oh, she introduced me to a new church, which I think I need to go this weekend, I think I really need to get out of my zone and just go, I'll probably end up just getting up and going, I'm not even going to tell you when I'm going to go, I'm just going to go, because it's easier if I don't plan it, if I plan it, I don't want to do it. I like to do everything spontaneously. Who needs plans? Just live. Just live life. I mean, it's life. We don't have many days. I could be here today and gone tomorrow. And that's pretty much how things really are in the world. It sucks, it's cruel, but it happens. And I thank the stars above for every day that I have with all the people that's in my life. I just hope that everybody doesn't take life for granted the way I have when I was a teenager. I wish I wasn't the way I was when I was a teenager. and I wish I would have decided to deal with depression and anger then. Maybe I would have been, I don't really care about popularity, but more happy about my circumstances. But I made a lot of really good friends back then. I talk to them sometimes. I don't know, I've learned over the years that regrets are things that you wish would have happened. It's what ifs. I don't like to think in what ifs. I like to think in how can I do this? When am I going to do it? What day am I going to do it? I don't like looking back anymore. It's pointless. Um, still working on the um. <laughs> I guess I have a little bit of poetry I can read to you guys. Uh, I know this has been a bit of a long rant, but I'm going to go into skim now, and I'm going to read you all my awesomeness, because I haven't read anything to you guys in probably about a year, and I'm excited to finally get this out to you guys. So, I'm going to read this one. I wrote this one last night. It's pretty much a back and forth, like a conversation in my head between me and skim, going back and forth, like blah, 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 but it's called a conversation in my head. I see the people walking around, people I want to talk to, but I don't make a sound. I'm too afraid. Wait, no I'm not, but what's the point? The point is doing, but who's to say? Who's to disagree? Maybe you're right, maybe I'm wrong. Never know, unless we try. If we fail, then we fail. Be more dominant, but it seems too hard. It doesn't matter, just be brave. I'm naturally shy. Only because you're afraid to try. I was a back and forth in my head. Um, 
Let me read a poem, I suppose. I'm going to tell you a secret, one in which I've never told. There is something less frightening than all the things you can hold. Life is but a single grain of sand, taken with a dose of gratuity. But one thing you didn't know is that there's more to me, more to me that can't be shown. Uh, and I'm going to read one more. Friends or foes. My heart, as my heart as is a stone dropped in lava, has been turned black. It is a memorial of what used to be. A time of mourning come and went. As the fire burns, a new rage comes out. What stands in the way shall soon fall down. Oblivious to what's to come, they live their lives in corrupt laughter. All the while I'm plotting, <laughs> their secrets will be their own disaster. An end will come as the fire rolls on. Yeah, someone commented on this one on my blog and said, there's a lot of pain in this one. Which... I suppose it was. I don't remember what it was about. Uh, it was probably about something intense. Usually a lot of my writing is about intense things. Let's see. I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll probably be on here tomorrow doing a little bit more vlogging. Probably just talking about life. I might post my walk today. That might come. Anyways, I'm off here, so uh, have a peace and lovely day.